what can Silicon Valley learn from Europe and from America? What can they learn? Uh, sorry, what can Silicon Valley learn from, from Europe and from the Middle East? What, what do Americans need to understand about the rest of the world, particularly in the tech and internet businesses? Okay, first of all, let's not uh, play down Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley was, is, and probably will continue to be the mecca of the industry. But the world is not only mecca. There is a big world outside of Silicon Valley. Uh, Last year, if you remember, uh, Ron Conway said that uh, nothing matters if it's not in Silicon Valley. And I invited everybody who doesn't agree to make a big boo at the hall, and we got, I extracted for them really big, uh, big boo. And uh, you see that, uh, number one, uh, I think Google today, about 50% of their income comes outside of the United States. Uh, you see a lot of innovation happening all over the world. And you see more and more innovation uh, happening uh, around the world. And the whole thing is now really very much uh, inter interconnected. You see great, uh, great innovations are coming from places outside of Silicon Valley. I don't know if you heard about uh, the World Wide Web. If you didn't hear, there is something which is going to have great future about Linux, about Skype, about ICQ, excuse me for the expression and the list goes on and on and on and on. So I think the world outside of Silicon Valley is important both from innovation, from consumption. You look who create the companies in Silicon Valley, 25 of 10, 25 percent of the new startups are created by immigrants or son of immigrants, a lot of Chinese origin people, a lot of Indian origin people, a lot of Israeli origin people. So I think we infuse good gene pool into what is already existing in Silicon Valley. Why do you think the Silicon Valley has a tendency towards parochialism and sometimes not looking outside itself? Because it consists mainly of Americans. Would you go on? <laughs> You just said something outrageous, so you have to explain I yourself. said something outrageous? They will kill me when they see that? Yeah, you better shave off your moustache. Yeah. But what do you mean by that? I mean that Americans are, or at least many years, they were inwarding looking, you know. It's, uh, they thought, and maybe rightly so, that everything is about the United States. But, uh, you know, in recent years we see some tectonic... Uh, tectonic shift. Also, you know, you, you, you must admit and give Silicon Valley the credit for creating the whole phenomena. You know, what happened in Silicon Valley since the 50s is really amazing, you know, with Xerox and with HP. So there are, there are good reasons for them to be a little bit, uh, how do you say it? Pro parochial. Parochial. By the way, I answered the question, I don't have any idea what is parochial. So maybe you explain to me what is parochial. Well, it means that they, they only look inside yeah. towards themselves. Uh, but and also, still... they, can, they can be self-contained into, into up to a certain extent. But you've had an impact. You've shaken them up, right? No, I can shake up a Silicon Valley. I am a small guy in Tel Aviv who is doing a little bit of investments. Nobody can shake Silicon Valley. But you're still generally bullish on Silicon Valley, its future. Yes, that's true. I'm bullish on Silicon Valley. I visited Silicon Valley for the first time in my life at 71. I went to Palo Alto, I saw Xerox at uh, Page Mill Road, and, uh, or Sandhill Road, Page Mill Road, one of the streets. Yeah. And I saw HP and I was taken away. I said, these are real buildings because I used to see the catalogs and the products. So I came at 71, it was, the whole place was two, two stories. Buildings in Palo Alto, there was two buildings at the Palo Alto Square, which were high rise, a lot of groves. And I said, if I move once to the United States, this is what, where I want to live. But so far, this is 40 years later, I still want to live in Israel, but I have very, very high respect for Silicon Valley, no doubt.